Warning, the following driving sequences are done by professional drivers on a closed circuit. So keep it off the street, guys. While I was playing fair, baby, you played a cheeky game. While I was playing fair, baby, you played a cheeky game. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 21. Since last you guys saw us, we got the engine in the car, made a few brackets for the engine mounts, and I was working on the wiring. Also, I was spreading my concerns. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> After my crazy stress removing dance routine, we went back to work and night fell on us again, but this time we were close to starting the engine.
You guys are there? Okay. So, so, as you can see, it's night. And we've been at this all day for two days now. And we're, we're close enough to start. So, come take a look what's happening. So, so, we got the radiator in. We got the double carburetors in from Weber. And these, these are old, but they're incredibly expensive still. I can't understand why. Side draft. Thanks, Michael. Right now we're trying to get the top dead center. So when we're installing the distrib distributor on this thing, and you got Nico's dad working on this, still doing his thing. And Nico himself over there. But that is an Ungoko, man. But that is an Ungoko. It's a walk around, huh? Start. The post is okay. You'll see. So. Oh. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> 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 Para ina wa ke a small transition a second ago, we had a, one of the carburetors pushing on the other one and giving it full gas. That's why we got like fire flames and everything going on. Of course, we have full gas and the other one. Yeah, and then we had like, of course, you have the whole the whole manifold, the two manifolds open, so it was like fire. Uh, who's that? Again. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Start 
Face down. Jasabra, the Hemingway Beach Bar at the Lions Dive Hotel, na Bapor Kibra, Vibe Nation, un explosion di reggae, aqui na Corso. That makes us climb that mountain top and scream it out loud. That makes us keep looking, we're searching this wonder. Yeah, Vibe Nation live every Saturday at the Hemingway, starting at 8. Welcome back, my faithful companions. Come for another Drift Garage tale, have you? In the last episode, we saw... <laughs> Come now, sit back and grab a decanter of your favorite elixir and let's see how Christopher Forsberg and friends fare in their missile build. My eyes do not betray me. I believe that is Ryan Turk, Christopher's longtime companion. I'm sure he'll be a healthy addition to this hearty workload. Pro tip, when you're building a race car, every ounce counts. Pulling the sound ending out of a car could be a pain in the ass, but you grab a little dry ice, and a hammer and a chisel, you're good to go. What a wonderful tip. Remember kids, you must be 18 or older to buy dry ice in many states. The same goes for tobacco, firearms, and pornography. Go ask your parents to get these items for you if you're not of age.
Now watch closely as the boys swap some rusty parts off their old shitty motor and torque wrench them onto the new shitty motor. We finished pulling the bad motor out, we got the frame straightened up, and we got the interior all thrown out. We don't need any of that crap. Now we're on to prepping our new engine. Same motor, it's still the factory 240SX engine. Makes about 140 horsepower stock, but uh, before we put it in, we got this Isis turbo kit we're gonna throw on there, get about another 100, 120 horsepower or so, right? I'd say about And right. uh, make it way more fun to drive. So this is a turbo. Missing the manifold. Turbos are the most cost-effective way to add horsepower to your car. So manifold is going to bolt to the side on the exhaust, and a turbo bolts to this, and basically the exhaust gas is going through. These runners here are going to spool the turbo to help compress more air getting into the engine. So more air and fuel makes more horsepower, more fun. Sir, grab me a 14 wrench. my favorite thing in the world, dude. Just love scraping gaskets all day. <laughs> so we'll go through the engine, change the filters and the spark plugs so we know that it's running 100%. Oh, here we are. Tip. When you're sick of working on your own bullshit missile car, steal your friend's car. It's all fun and games to steal your friend's car until you break something. Please do be careful with that cherished example of missile history. All right, we got the motor in the car, it's ready to go. The turbo's on there, it's gonna make a lot of extra heat with that extra horsepower. So we got this intercooler, which is gonna cool that air down. Turk over here has got the pipe in to hook it all up. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> We just finished up with the ISIS turbo kit and intercooler kit. We're moving on to a very important part of the engine, the radiator. When we're thrashing on missile cars all day, the biggest problem is trying to keep them cool. So I use Mishimoto rads in all my race cars, missile cars, everything. So we're going to repurpose this one into this project to keep this engine running cool. All right, Turk. Well, I'm sorry, you got I need to do Bro. We Fire good? Fired up. Fired up. Fire All right, up. sucker up. Ready? Fire it. First try. That's right. <laughs> Main Turk nailed it. Car started first try. Tradition around the shop is you get your car run, crack open a beer. Pro tip S13s make great bottle openers. 
join us next time where the boys tune up the car and get it ready for some race tracking abuse. As always, it has been a true pleasure, and I do hope that you join us on the next episode of Drift Garage. Stay sideways, my friends. Ya sabrán, Hemingway Beach Bar at the Lions Dive Hotel, la vapor que habrá, Vibe Nation, un explosión de reggae aquí en Acorso. Y a Vibe Nation live every Saturday at the Hemingway, starting at 8. Face down! Join us next week as we finish and test drive Nikos Corolla. And remember to like us on Facebook. And as always, I'm Lennon and I'm gone drifting.